Okay, you guys, take a coffee or something else and listen to this. I found something mysterious for you and the scientists found something. Have you ever wondered when you're swimming or snorkeling and you cannot see what's underneath you? I hate that. Even when I'm sailing or something and I don't know, are there any monstrosity, mysterious structures underneath me? I remember I was once snorkeling um, in Tahiti and I was swimming and I was looking straight to the ground so I wasn't looking what's in front of me and then all over a sudden there was a black sort of coral mountain it was black the, the ground everything's whitish and bluish and then by looking down I saw this black shadow coming towards me it really scared me I turned around and although I was out there to look at the geological features right so guys, and this is close to me, and I'm not talking about actual sea mount that is off the coast of Oregon that's about to explode. I'll put the video in the end screen because you should really watch what this guy is doing because this is a monstrosity of a volcano as large as a city, but guys, off the west coast of Canada, to be more precise, Vancouver Island, they found something. And it's huge. Can you imagine that? So a team of researchers thought, ah, we think there is some extinct, very ancient underwater volcano off the Pacific coast of Canada. And let's have a closer look at this. And don't forget, we're talking about the Pacific Ring of Fire this horseshoe ring where all the subduction zones are located, where most of the dangerous and large earthquakes are happening, and where we see most of the world's volcanoes. And of course, the West Coast has this Cascadia subduction zone, the big one. And of course, all the volcanoes that are there, Mount Baker, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Rainier, all these volcanoes, but there's underwater volcanoes as well, like actual sea mount off the Oregon coast. But they found something. And sometimes the most mysterious discoveries happen when they're not looking for it. So they're going down there and they're going deeper and they're looking for something. So they thought an ancient underwater volcano, water around it, very, very cold at deep depth of the Pacific Ocean. Well, they discovered that it wasn't so frigid. They found an underwater mountain. A mountain, guys. I'm not talking about a little pile of coral reef or, or rock or something like this that you discover snorkeling. A massive, like massive underwater mountain. You could go skiing on that thing if that was on land. 3,600 feet above the seafloor. That's 1,100 meters. And they discovered something else because they thought, yeah, 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 there's nothing going on. That is all extinct, right? But then it was getting warm. This underwater volcano is spouting warm water and it's encrusted with deep sea corals. So these hot, mineral-rich fluids keep the surrounding waters a little bit toasty, mushy, not really clear. But that also provides ideal conditions for some marine creatures to survive in the deep sea. But what baffled them is that this thing is active. Everything that's heating something, and it is a volcano, tells us something. Because actual sea mount is kind of doing the same. In the scientific releases, they're not giving us the name of that underwater volcano, I guess, because it's just been discovered. It doesn't have a name. Because I first was thinking, well, is this one of the existing underwater volcanoes that we know about? There's Bui Sea Mount. It's a well-known submarine volcano off of Haida Gwaii in British Columbia, Canada. There's Graham Sea Mount. That's another sea mount off of Haida Gwaii. There's Makina Volcano. That's a mud volcano type of thing. Um, also off of Vancouver Island. Island, but this thing seems to be completely something new. But they found something else. They found like first looked like 
are these gold nuggets that are down there where the volcano is well they look like golden golf balls so what is that right that you must be stunned if you see that and millions of that everything full of these round golden eggs so not only visually stunning but also scientifically really really surprising so what is it by looking at this volcano i mean the one thing is like oopsie that thing seems to be active but also they uncovered a massive massive nursery of golden colored eggs near this hidden underwater volcano so what creature is this right you're uh, like oh my gosh and they're even going as far that they're saying this finding is reshaping what experts understand about deep sea ecosystems and where life can actually thrive on Earth. That volcano itself has never been explored before. And according to the lead researcher from Fisheries and Oceans Canada, these dives down there were the first the very first ever conducted on this particular undersea structure. It's hard to believe, but yeah, it is true. They have never looked at this thing. And what's even more surprising is these scientists, nobody knew that this volcano is still at least geothermally active. So it's not dormant. It's not extinct. It's not ancient. So it te theoretically could do something, but nobody knows anything about this one versus actual seamount where they have undersea cables, camera sensors. Now they have everything. We're expecting to see this eruption on camera actually. So not only, <laughs> this is really what this head of the fishery in Oceans Canada says, there's two things. No one knew this ancient underwater volcano was active and let, a no let alone emitting heat that's crazy because that unexpected heat may have made all the difference creating basically this rare thermal oasis down there in an otherwise very frigid high pressure high pressure environment if you're that deep down there so that's why when the team found that it left them more than stunned a huge portion of the seafloor was coated in in like glistering yellow eggs and they say that each one of them has the size of a human hand to me on the, if i see the pictures they look like golf ball size right and now we know whose eggs it is it's not a sea monster it's the pacific white skate looks pretty scary actually many people call it like ghost creature let's say a ghostly looking deep sea species that is related to sharks actually so so many sharky eggs so now they estimate that this nursery that they found probably holds and now really listen 2.6 million eggs shimmering like gold these eggs, they're also called mermaid purses. That's kind of cute. Just a question what comes out of it, right? And do you know how long it takes for them to hatch? 10 years, 10 years. Wow, Th that's among the longest incubation periods of fish on earth. And the reason that's also interesting why this is so unusually long um, it appears to be environmental because the deep sea, we know it's extremely cold. It's of course where the eggs are, it's warmer because of the volcano that they didn't know exists. Um, so the volcanic heat that is seeping from the ocean floor um, seems to act as kind of a, a natural incubator for these eggs. So in order to, to grow like big and strong animals, the warmer the better. And interesting, I looked it up. National Geographic describes the Pacific white skate as a bone white, buck eyed relative of sharks. Sounds scary. And they say typically lives nearly two miles below the ocean surface 
and until now such a vast nursery of this species has never ever been seen before especially in an area that they once thought is too inhospitable to support early life or early life stages so that's why the news are like new shark discovered in the deep sea so they even have recorded a video where a female Pacific white shark uh, skate was lying eggs directly on the warm sea floor. And they have used a robotic arm um, on a submersible and that has uh, gently lifted one of these eggs. Um, and it's, it really appears to be bright gold under the camera lights. So the mineral rich fluids from the volcano's vents are keeping the nearby waters warmer than expected. And this warmth creates an environment that seems to support embryo development. And undersea volcanoes, even some that we don't know exist, they might be the reason why we have some deep sea species that, that are even able to be alive down there. They have adapted to survive in extreme conditions, but it seems the volcanoes are helping them. And, and really, the researchers say this is out of this world. But at the same time, more than 90% of the livable space on our Earth is in the deep sea. So I'm sure there's more that we have no clue about. So we have a volcanic nursery, but we also have a volcano, which I still can't believe that they didn't know that. So if this is off your coastline, and you know, you'd at least go down there once and have a look. Well, they did this now, but just now? Kind of crazy, guys, but I thought it's an interesting story for you guys. And if you're interested in underwater volcanoes, really check out this video, stunning videos and images that we have from actual seamount, because this is full of cameras. We're just waiting for the eruption to happen. Everything that you need to know is in this video. And if you wanna know what's going on at Campi Fligre, guys, best as you subscribe and you go to my Campi Fligre playlist, because this is absolutely insane. What's going on at this super volcano at near Naples and Italy. So subscribe to my channel, hype and like my videos. That would be great. Fill me up with coffee, buymeacoffee.com slash silky. Thank you so much for everyone who's supporting the channel with your supers, with your memberships, with your comments, with watching, hyping, liking. I'm out of here and I see you in a second.